looks just like this with this posture down. Knee up to the chin, bring out the inside of the arm. All right, so we've already seen uh, rainbow sweeps, back takes, and the Kimura. Okay, so when I'm in this knee shield position, I want to be kind of like know my techniques, know what's going to be the easiest based on what kind of grip fight we're having, right? So, you know, if I'm going for Kimura, I'm trying to be able to slide down and grab this wrist, but if I'm doing something like this. He recognizes this, he's gonna bring his arm up off the mat probably and that will be put it down. So in that situation I can reach across and drag. So if I'm grabbing kind of like if I'm controlling the inside, I can grab the sleeve and I can actually lift my elbow even a little bit to help steer and just grab and drag across. So here. So drag across. And as I'm dragging. This leg just loops inside. And as it loops inside, I want to make sure that I'm going up towards the armpit, up towards the shoulder. Like so, kind of steering his head out of the way. Like that, I can pin the arm to my head. This hand's going to go underneath the knee. All right, guys. Good now, job. once we're here, pay attention to uh, some different things with his base. Like right now, I got his. His knee inside the pit nice and easy. So it's fairly easy for me to let go of the sleeve, reach across and grab his shin. And I'm gonna pull his heel towards his butt. Once I do that, I'm gonna pull it out. So I'm creating hip pressure that forces him to roll. As we roll, both my legs capture the hip, so just cross my knees. And we're gonna grab the heel here. Now with his leg, his easy escape in the beginning is to turn the knee up this direction, put his foot on my knee pin, and instead of being flat on my back, I'm gonna reach. And then he's gonna push his foot out. All right, so when we get here, I'm gonna show you across the bar again. In order to prevent that quick little rotation, like some people the very split to the bottom side of my head, and make sure I'm just skating off in this direction as we go. They'll bump their hips up. Another important note is and right as they're dropping their hips, my legs or anything like that. Trying to muscle their feet and also my ankles. They're on the body. I don't want my legs to be vulnerable. Plus, this offers a really good knee catch that makes it very difficult for him to escape. So by spinning my legs, I can get a really nice tight knee catch. So that's what I do first. Once I cut the heel, I pinch the knees, extend the legs, and bridge all the way up. Super high. Now, if I see guards, look where inside I'm frame, it's a knee shield. The knee shield, we're going to play a group fight. If I'm sliding for the wrist, his hand comes up at any moment. I can grab it, drag it across. And these things all kind of happen at the same time. I'm going to pass the foot, underhook, bringing the shoulder to the knee kind of at the same time. From here, legs are active, keeping him away. I'm gonna let go of the sleeve and grab the ankle, pull the heel to the butt, and then rotate it out so I'm cranking the hip. Now I don't want the knee to get stuck underneath. Look at that. Right? So the leg gets stuck underneath. Back just a moment. And I try to frame. Rotate. This one comes around and catches. That helps me pull that one out. Right? So now I'm writing that ankle to cross position. Bury the foot under the head. So, if he's left, so up on the heel as I pinch the knees, extend the legs, and arch. I'm try and get my front. And get out like that. So we're fighting, we're playing here. Right, he wants this position. Every time that elbow comes out. up, it's the perfect he's opportunity to grab and feed. So, as soon as he starts to shoot the leg through, make sure you bump him out. His posture down there, and feels the my arms start to get out. So I'm going to keep his knees high right now by keeping his stomp. Alright? Let's fly out so of the mat. He crosses the push off the shin. the heel towards the butt. Rotate it out. Follow one, two, 
drive the weight into me. Underneath the head. Breathing. It makes me feel comfortable. Where's the arm? Pinch the knees. Good. Extend like the legs. And arch. Yeah. To begin with. But he's really going to drive into me. The okay, one thing I just want to be aware of is uh, my angle. You know, if this is Bruce's head, it should be more like this at the end and in a line like that. I don't want to be in a line with him as a moon is the ground. Make sure we kind of have that 90 degree angle, right? As much as possible. Now, if he's just like this, with his posture down, and I try and then once again, right here, this uh, it's no good. he's no always good. trying to turn his knee up off. as he's escaping. His weight's right? not on me. So that knee punch. He tries to rotate his leg. It's really tight. He's trying to pull his leg out. Keep him staying really tight with my knees pinched. And then this grip is important. Head over the front toes. Up the heel. So now he can't he can't rotate that between the pinched knees and this grip right here. His leg's pretty stuck. Right? And you said you're pulling the heel up slightly? Yeah, slightly yes. up this way as I arch. Okay. You feed right off of this. Or keep things supple. We need the back position. So as we're going for the knee bar, I'll be saying. So just pay attention to my grip here, the first grip. Knuckles out. Rather than the knuckles in. Keep the muscle on the hook and pull grip. Heel to the hip. When you pull out, that's what locks the hip up. Makes him have to rotate. Got to bring the leg around, get the leg out. But now, once again, for him, transitionally is the best time. So as I'm you know, coming into position before I even really cross, he's trying to make sure that knee's pointing up like that, right? That's ruining my knee bar, okay? But if this is the case, I'm just going to sit up like that, okay? So I'm kind of facing towards the legs. And now, both hands are gonna go for the far leg, one to the knee, one to the ankle. And I'm gonna just pull it over top the other one. Now the important thing here is that this knee stays out, this one goes in. So I don't want the leg to go over top of that knee. Now as I pull, look, I just pull, and I go between the legs, and we hook the outside one. So they're both hooked inside. Now I'm gonna fall in, put my foot over my foot, I'm pushing down right here, and I'm pulling out right here. And the good thing about this is he's got no legs to work with. Right, so if he tries to move that way, that's what I'm doing with this. Try to move that way. Here, he tries to go that way, that's what he stopped with right here with, right? So I'm, steer I'm steering where he can go, he can't go anywhere, right? He has a nice solid position, he's trying to sit up into me at this point, my knees frame it around. <laughs> Again, we're in the same situation, I'm gonna drag the arm across, kick the leg through, bump him out. I should be going underneath the knee at the same time. Connect that shoulder to the knee, so in a solid position here. I'm gonna reach for the ankle. Pull it to the hip, pull it out, climb the legs up. But if he turns his knee up during that rotation, I'm just gonna sit up, but make sure I don't lose the leg. And I'm gonna face the legs, all right? Now we're gonna focus on the outside leg. I'm just gonna pull it towards the other one, making sure this knee stays out. As I pull, I just slice right between the legs, hook the far leg, fall in. Foot pushes down on the foot. Grab the hand and pull. Just pull towards the chest. And we're good. So um, and also a lot of times you know you get a, like a shin and a groin kind of thing going on here as well. All right, so just be aware of that. I can dig in there sometimes and make it uncomfortable. Um, it can be hard to avoid that sometimes, just depending on the tightness of the position and what's going on. Super tight hold though. So I'm thinking about it already. Just sit up, right? Drag across. Remember, don't pull that over the knee. Keep the knee out. I'm not trying to pull over his knee either. Just over the shin. Fall in. We're hooking it. Deep the armpit. Push down. Hook and pull towards the chest. 
As you're pushing down, you feel this kind of your counter leverage, push down and pull at the same time. This knee even rises. Like that. Super tight. All right, so whenever I'm gonna go for this, this is actually what we call the low side knee bar. I'm attacking the low leg and not the high leg. Uh, whenever I go for the low side knee bar, this is there. So I'm thinking clover leaf even before I shoot for this knee bar. I'm ready to transition right into it because they might be transitioning their escapes as I go for the knee bar. I'm gonna catch them with the next one, right? And I feel like in this situation right here, even just this situation right here can be hard to get out of, right? Because I can grab, I can hold the legs, and I'll just cross my ankles and pinch my knees here a little bit if I feel like I'm losing control, grab something. It can be hard to get out of this situation. And at any time that I want, I can come here and I can start attacking this leg alone. And what they do naturally is they give me that one to defend. Yeah. They bring up the push, and then we go here, right? The best one is really the reverse heel hook here, which is illegal. This is the reverse heel hook. Uh, illegal in traditional jiu-jitsu, but it's really the best move right here. He'll definitely bring the second foot up, catch that, swim it in, there you go, all right? So, when you guys are learning techniques, like if I'm learning an arm bar, if I do an arm bar from the mouth, spin the leg over the head, we're sitting there with the arm, I wanna get really good at controlling that arm bar position so that they can't get out. I'm not even worried about getting the arm bar, using that position as a control position, right? Same thing like here, when I get really good at just using this as a control position, make sure they can't slip away from me. If that's the case, it's pretty easy to get to this situation, right? So if I discover ways to get here, make it hard so they can't get out, then we have such a dominant finish, very high percentage stuff, all right? So always thinking about position before submission, you know, even if it's a submission position, you know, we have to develop all of those. All right, so that's the low side knee bar from the knee shield to the Texas Cloverleaf.